now we've been teaching on um, 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 creating a wealthy mindset and uh, the first thing I told you if you want to create a wealthy mindset is for you to feed yourself with information that support prosperity now I want to run through it quickly until we get to where we are I said your life is as rich as your mind tell anybody say my life is as rich as my mind in other words if you want to be wealthy feed your mind with information and things that will condition you for prosperity if all you are hearing is negative things things that does not benefit you as a child of god it influences the way you think and the way you behave i personally believe is that we become what we constantly hear the bible says as a man thinks in his heart so is he what affects your thought pattern is the information you feed your mind with hallelujah in proverbs chapter 23 verse 7 a the bible says as a man thinks in his heart so is he and i made you understand the actual translation in the original hebrew says as a man thinks in his heart so he becomes you become what you think and that is why you and i need to constantly feed our minds with the right things think it is possible think you will make it think you are excelling think positive things because how many of you have read this book called um, 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 the law of attraction so you don't read books okay wonderful now the law of attraction actually preaches only one thing that whatever you think you attract you attract what you think so if you are thinking positive things i used to do daydream a lot when i was young when i was sent when i was young i would start daydreaming how i'll be doing good in the future how i'll be enjoying life how i'll be traveling around the world all those things i used to think when i was young i, I would just imagine myself thinking about them they manifest see when you read these books about um from these um public speakers and um positive confessions and all that the only thing they tell you is that if you want to be rich see yourself becoming rich imagine yourself living in a big car they are the, those are the things they think they borrowed it from the word of god in the same way the bible says as a man thinks in his heart so he becomes every day of your life imagining yourself becoming what you truly desire to become don't look at your condition and write yourself off for God is able to raise a desert boy called David to become a king it doesn't matter your current condition God can raise you to places and levels of prominence if you believe that shout I believe that God is able to bring you to a place of honor so see yourself the way you desire to be you may be broke but tell yourself you are a rich man you may not have a good car but tell yourself your big car is coming you may not be doing well even in school as a student but tell yourself whatever I have dreamed to become I shall become if you are here shall I receive that I remember when I went to Ghana, I met a friend of mine who were in the same room with dormitory with in high school. And I told him, I met him and he, he pulled up with a car in where I was staying. And I'm like, Richmond. He said, David. He says, ah, I mean, the car he was driving, I was like, oh, wow. God can change people. <laughs> so, no, he he was a student leader but he was not that sharp you know like book wise we were all science students i mean if I, I was the first he was somewhere 24 25 30. so he tells me oh david you know i'm 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 a, I'm a medical doctor now i'm like medical what you <laughs> to be honest with you do you know what i told myself i said even if i'm dying you rich man because 
he went to, to medical school in, Rich, in Russia. He's become a medical. Now he's a consultant. And he's telling me, he's a med, because from the way I knew the guy, and the way he's telling me God has changed him, he's a medical doctor, I realized that God can change people. So even if your son is not doing well, believe in your son. Believe, if your children may not be doing well in school, believe in them, because that guy, my God, I remember when we were in high school, there's another guy who was called Aziz Bawa. He's a, he was a Muslim. Now, Aziz Bawa was one of, he used to be my cheerleader. He used to cheer me up, support me, and, and, and me move me. Anytime somebody does anything, Aziz Bawa will come and stand. Now, when the teacher was not in class, Aziz Bawa would pick the chalk. You know those, they used to have blackboard. I don't know what they, yeah, we write with the chalk. Aziz Bawa will write on the board, I am Aziz Bawa. I will marry Miss Weld. I, I will live in a glass house. Now, this is high school days. Now, Aziz Bawa was not okay. Now, he says he will marry Miss Weld. I'll write on the board. I will live in a glass house. I will live abroad in the United Kingdom. Now, Aziz Bawa comes from one of the most humblest um, um, slums in Ghana. Proper slump. But he will write all those things on the board and we will laugh and make fun of him. So one time, when I went, years back, we finished school, nobody met him again. I was in the UK to finish my master's. Right after I finished, a man, somebody sends me a message on my Facebook. Hello, David. This is Aziz Bauer. I'm like, hey, Aziz Bauer. He says, Aziz Bauer. You know, he used to be, I used to call him bodyguard. Your bodyguard in high school. I'm like, Aziz Bauer. Says, I said, so Aziz, where are you? The, because the first thing that came to my mind was what he said. He will live in a glass house. He married Miss Well. He says, I said, Aziz, where are you? He says, I live in Scotland. I'm like, what? Yeah. Aziz. So the next question was, are you married? Because he had told us, you marry Miss Well. He sends me the picture of his wife. Both of them. White, beautiful white lady. Aziz Bawa was married to a white woman. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, this is no joke. I looked at Aziz Bawa and I told myself, these things we declare on ourselves, they manifest. I want you to look at yourself and say, I will succeed. I will make it. I will prosper. The Lord will lift me up. It doesn't matter my condition. If God could lift Aziz Bawa, he shall lift you up as well. Are you getting what I'm saying? It is possible. Tell your neighbor and say, it is possible. Yes. Believe in yourself. So, um, let's go to the next point quickly. Next next point next point on the slide accept i told you um last week accept that money is good and that god wants you to prosper there are some people they believe that they are poor they are broke they will forever be poor there's no way they will make it in life they have conditioned their minds that they cannot make it condition your mind that you will succeed tell your neighbor condition your mind that you will succeed because i told you last week from um, um, Genesis 1 27 the first thing God did when he created man was to bless man amen? amen yes the first thing that God did after creating man was to what bless man the Bible says and God created man in his own image in the image of God created he him male and female created he them and the Lord blessed them Hebrews the Hebrew word translated bless means empower to prosper. Tell you anybody say empower to prosper. In other words, after man was created, the first thing God did to man was to empower man to prosper. Are you listening to me? If God empowered you to prosper at the time of creation, it's a sign He wants you to prosper condition your mind that you were born to succeed you were born to prosper let me tell you it doesn't matter the amount of prayer made for you the amount of oil poured on your head it doesn't matter whether you go to Kataloni or Nakuru or wherever to for prayer if your mindset is not right your situation will never change 
Are you hearing me? You must have your mindset right that you are coming out of whatever it is that the enemy has placed you. And it doesn't matter what, you will come out. Amen? Amen. Yes. Go, you must program your mind to succeed. And when you come read Genesis chapter 39, verses 2 to 5. Now let's read that scripture. Genesis chapter 39, verses 2 to 5. Reading from the Amplified version of the Bible. Genesis 39. Shall we read one go? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now hold it there. The Lord was with who? Now Joseph is there, they're gone. The Lord was with who? And even though he was a slave, he became a successful and a prosperous man. In other words, the Lord was with Joseph. Even though he was a house boy, he prospered. Are you hearing me? So, Joseph was a Jew. He knew he was born to succeed. So, whether he's a house boy or house girl, or he's who he was born to succeed so his con he had conditioned himself to succeed i want you to know regardless of your background you can succeed Amen. there are people who rose up from nothing and became something you are not bet they are not better than you god can make you the same you need to believe in yourself and in the god you serve that you were not born to suffer you were not born to be ridiculed by your family members if the lord was with joseph and even though joseph was a slave god made him prosper you also god can make you prosper and we believe in this prophetic word and we agree with the word that we also we shall prosper we also we shall succeed we also we shall break through if you are here shall i receive it, I receive it. the lord was with joseph and even though he was a slave i like the part that the scripture emphasizes that he was a slave but he still prospered you are better than a slave you are not a slave you are your own person that means you are supposed to even prosper even more I will succeed. Put your hand on your head. Say, I will succeed. I will make it. I will break through. Doors are opening unto me. My helpers are coming. God is favoring me. I will excel in everything I do. The Spirit of God is with me. I make it. I break through. In the name of Jesus. Don't write yourself off. Tell anybody, don't write yourself off. Yes. Believe in yourself. Amen? Amen. Yes, believe in yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Now let's go to the next point. The Bible said, The Lord delights. Now let's go to yes. Associate. Now, if you want to prosper, I said the first one is feed your mind with things that support prosperity. Number two, believe that God created you. I said, if you want to have a wealthy mindset, feed your mind with information that will make you prosper. Number two, I said, believe that it is the will of God for you to prosper. Because the Bible says God delights in the prosperity of his people. And the next point is that associate with people that are worthy now let's go to the scripture before this and then um, um some the scripture um, um um go back go back go back go back yes go back yes psalm 35 verses 27 b psalm 35 freedom from the new king james then we come to the third point psalm 35 shall we read one go no 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 read it one go hold on there hold on there we have 30 minutes to close service anybody that comes into the service at 9 30 you are coming for second service so ushers block the road anybody this is road block anybody because see now you cannot just walk in here in 30 minutes you walk out like i have finished service glory be to god it's a lie you don't want to con jesus <laughs> yeah so anybody that comes in juma let them sit in the in the overflows there they join us for second service let them if they want to sit down it's okay let them sit in the overflows they'll join us for second service and then when they close you know the key yes don't take tea 
you take tea after second service yes those of us that have been here we are the one that are entitled to take tea and bread amen after service after service there is tea and bread for everybody so those ones that you see they are coming from the gates tell them you go go to church yours is in the second service amen now let's read the scripture yes psalm 35 verses 27 yes one go mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let who let the lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servants say the lord has pleasure in my prosperity the lord has pleasure in other words god becomes happy when he sees you prosper see there is this thing people say oh prosperity gospel there is nothing like prosperity gospel there's nothing like that in the bible the gospel is the gospel and prosperity is part of the gospel are you listening to me yeah. okay if you don't want to prosper leave it to us we, we want to prosper are you getting my point yes now the bible said the lord delights some version says in the prosperity of a servant i want it to enter your head god wants you to do well this spirit of struggle me i want to be i want to be broke and go to heaven no 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 the arrangement that went to heaven abraham had 318 servants when he died he also ended up in heaven he the bible say abraham was wealthy he prospered he did well he he had cattle silver and gold he died and still ended up in heaven so ladies and gentlemen you can die poor and go to heaven you can die rich and go to heaven you choose the way you want to die and for your information when we go to heaven we will just be worshiping god this thing that your sunday school teacher told you it was a lie that oh when you go to heaven you say Nyamachoma, come and it will appear um, rise come and it will appear no when you go to heaven we will just be worshiping god so if you have any good life to live live it now here on earth are you understanding me we don't drive cars there are no v8s in heaven there are no mercedes benzes in heaven we drive them here on the earth and i prophesy over your life god will make you do well you shall not be a victim of circumstances you shall not be a victim of suffering the lord will cause you to prosper if you are here shout i receive it shout i am born to excel i am born to prosper see maybe your condition may be like aziz bawa you come from islam but believe you you will succeed are you hearing me yes, yes. now let's point read point um, um number three associate with wealthy people if you want to be wealthy learn to associate with wealthy people tell your neighbor associate with wealthy people shall you say associate with wealthy people now because G, the scripture says in giving proverb chapter 13 verses 20 proverb chapter 13 verses 20 proverbs chapter 13 verses 20 now give me now we're going to take it in new king james and then we will take it in message translation give me a message translation first i like the message translation now read it one go everybody this one i want you to read it aloud and clear one go good again if you're a student you are young you are below 30 shout it even better one go uh-huh again read it loud young people read one go become wise by walking with the wise hang out with fools and watch your life fall into pieces if you want to be wise walk with the wise if you walk with four wise men you become the fifth one if you walk with four wealthy men you become the fifth one you become like the people you associate with they say tell me your friends and i'll show you your character if all your friends are just dumb in school my friend you also end up becoming dumb at least you may be an average student associate with somebody who is smarter than you amen yes if you are the most wisest person in the room you are in the wrong room 
associate with people that are smarter than you, a bit more intelligent than you, people that can contribute to the building of your life by sharing with you knowledge, information, skill, things that would advance your very life. The Bible says become wise by walking with the wise. Let me paraphrase it. Become anointed by walking with the anointed. Become skillful by walking with the skillful. Become rich by walking with the rich. Even if you don't know how to dress, associate with people that know how to dress. Yes. So that they will tell you, hey, now this one, this color combination is, is on another level. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, some, some people are serious, so the way they can combine colors, wow. Even our friends from Kambani don't do that. <laughs> they can combine colors, powerful. They put yellow, pink, blue, hey. They put yellow and lemon green. And it is shouting. They want to announce their presence. Wow. See, the good thing with these churches, you dress the way you want. Are you hearing me? If you want to come here with a t shirt or Manchester GC, nobody cares. Are you hearing me? Yeah. So if you want to learn how to dress, associate with the right people. Tell anybody, associate with the right people even jesus did not just associate with anybody even jesus learned to associate with the right people amen yeah the bible says in matthew chapter 10 verses 9 jesus associated with wealthy people jesus who jesus wow jesus learned to associate with wealthy people the people the the, the pharisees and the sadducees talked but he didn't care he focused. He knew what he wanted. Now, let's read. Now, when in, in Matthew chapter 19, Jesus checked into Jericho and there was a man who was very rich in Jericho and the people called him, hey, hey, no. Anytime I come to this scripture, I'm tempted to be careful what I'm saying because you might never know where it will end. <laughs> So this man was called Zacchaeus. Stay in the say Zacchaeus. Don't say Zacchaeus. I said the man was called Zacchaeus. Why are you putting words in my mouth? What is your problem? <laughs> I said the man was called Zacchaeus. Good. <laughs> so <laughs> Jesus checked into Jericho. Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus. So Zacchaeus ran ahead of the crowd. And Zacchaeus puts and climbed the sycamore tree. So immediately Jesus saw Zacchaeus. He said to Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, come down. Today I will stay in your house. May God give you favor to live in Zacchaeus' house. You are not saying amen. <laughs> Zacchaeus is a type of a wealthy man in your city. Zacchaeus is a type of a well-to-do man in your neighborhood. Are you hearing me? Yes. yes. Jesus associated with wealthy people. Amen. When the other day he was sending his disciples to, 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 to go preach, he tells the disciples, don't take money. Don't take your wallet. Don't take anything. Anytime you enter into the city, find a wealthy man in the city and go and live with them. Can you imagine Jesus telling his disciples that if anything, if something like that was done by today, a pastor they say, hey, that pastor, he only associate with wealthy people. So he won't, he won't, who do you want him to associate with? Tell us. <laughs> Are you hearing me? Yes. Jesus said, never carry money in your bag or in your snap or in your sandals. In other in other words, they were, those guys were keeping money in their sandals. No, we are. I'm just, I'm not, it's actually making sense right now. No, just read the scripture. Carry neither money back. Oh, okay. Snapchat, no sandals. No, greet anyone along the road. Uh huh. Peace to this house. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh.
remain in the same house in other words if there is no food in the house <laughs> Jesus says when you get to that house go to a house where you find food remain in that house <laughs> <laughs> Jesus was a wise man I tell you for the laborer is worthy of his wages and he said do not go from house to house just find one house just one tell anybody one house yes I mean I think that it's in the smart that when he says find a, a man a person that is wealthy and live in the house but at least the message is clear right yes now you need to identify I was preaching yesterday in Kitengela how many of you watched the sermon in Kitengela yesterday it's a book I'm writing it's a powerful book on the church stay in the bed and say the church no yesterday I enjoyed ourselves in Kitengela it was powerful it was electric say electric I'm telling you now I, 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 I close by saying there are five types of people you need in your life to identify with number one the five types of people you need to identify with. Number one, the, per, the, the person that carries brains. People that carry what? Brains. They are wise. Identify with people that are wise. You look at your friends. What kind of message are they contributing? Are they wise? Identify with wise people. Okay? Number two, identify with gifted and talented people identify with gifted and talented people people all around you ask are they gifted are they talented what skill did they have identify with gifted and talented people number three identify with people that can give you physical help people that have money it's not a bad thing it's a very good thing if all your friends are broke you are broker identify number four identify with people that carry quality information not just information quality information the greatest last week i told you the greatest asset of our time these days is data information not just information don't identify people that carry emotion eh? hey, all the time they are coming to you are coming to you with stories about other hey have you heard can did you see the shoe the man of god was wearing and so what hey hey see pastor Percy's beard is becoming white and so what are you getting me? Identify with people that carry what? That carry what? Identify with people that carry what? Quality information. Not just information, but quality information. Quality information. Quality info information that will advance your life. Information that... See, anybody that is ahead of you knows something you don't know. The day you get to know what they know, and do what they do you also get ahead anyone that is ahead of you knows something you don't know they just have refused to tell you there are people making good money in this city through very clean quiet nice means get close to them the problem is that when you get close to wealthy people the reason why you don't become rich is you are only looking for handouts ah please can i get 1k say can i get 2k that is why you are where you are don't just ask for what they can give ask for how they can teach you make money don't ask for their handouts ask for their hearts the spirit they carry the knowledge they have the skill they possess you had a, you, you, you had a meeting with your CEO the only thing you could ask was nothing hey boss these days hmm, this is my colleague hey you talked about your colleague you couldn't ask your boss an intelligent question that your boss will even realize that you you are smart if there is a promotion they will give you are you hearing me yes the fourth the number the fifth type of people you need to identify with is i said first with is what mm hmm yes uh-huh 
The fifth type of people you need to identify with is people that carry anointing. Men that carry the spirit. You need an anointed man around you, my friend. You need someone that can see in the spirit. Make a decree in the spirit for things to align for you. You need an anointed man. And you see, there is something that you need to know and never forget this. There are people, there are two, out of all these people that will come your way, never forget what I'm saying because I'm about to close. There are people that are assigned to you and there are people that are attached to you. Write it down. There are people that come into your life, they are assigned to you. They have been assigned by God to you. And number two, there are people that come into your life, they are, are just attached to you. You need revelation to distinguish assigned people from attached people. People that are attached to you remain attached to you as long as the relationship benefits them. The day things go south a little bit, that is when you realize that they were just attached but not assigned and most of the time we channel our energy to people I mean to I mean the energy we are supposed to give to the people that have been assigned to us to people that have been attached to us you see if you if a man has been assigned to you that means they are assigned to you for the rest of your life they may not have it they may not be moneyed they may not be what but they have an assignment for your life they are to watch over you help you guide you to ensure that you get to that prophetic destination that god has ordained for you and assigned people remain with you regardless whether you are broke whether you are poor whether you are struggling whether you are what they are assigned to you but people that are attached to you the moment the waters are troubled a little bit and things get shaken a little bit they disappear ask your neighbor are you attached or you are assigned yes and you need revelation to distinguish them god will not come and tell you oh lucy is attached or mary is assigned you yourself need revelation to understand is this person assigned to me or they are attached to me are you hearing me yes and i pray that god will bring you to a space that you will get revelation in knowing how to connect with assigned and attached people tell you about assigned and attached say assigned and attached and when assigned when attached people are living your life sometimes you begin to cry oh why is this one going oh what no 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 they were just attached life is like a vehicle as i close on this note see how many of you have bought them a tattoo before bought them a tattoo. at least every one of you have bought them a tattoo good huh? no, is there anyone here who has not bought them a tattoo before you've all bought them a tattoos right good at least now if you bought a matatu from where Rongai good Rongai is a powerful place let's say you bought a matatu when a matatu starts from Rongai say coming to town at the, the driver and the conductor sits in the matatu. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There are people that will board the matatu in Rongai, where the, the, the matatu began. The matatu drives, drives, drives. Okay, thank you. Thank, can I get can I get two people around? Three or four people? Follow me, follow me. Now we're going to illustrate matatu. Now let's say this is my conductor. I'm the driver. Okay? Okay, let me get a driver. No, let's say you are the driver now. You are the conductor. Now, can I get other people? Other people just joining, 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 joining. Matatu, matatu. How do they say it? Huh? 
Beba. Beba means what? Carry. Beba, 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 beba. Town, 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 town. So now, this, and this is the driver, that is the conductor. Are you hearing me? And these are the passengers. Now, when the car starts, start going, they are supposed to get to town. Let's start going. The car starts and they go to Galeria. Once they get to Galeria, this one drops off. Because that is where he's going. But the final destination was supposed to be where? Town. And when they keep going, they keep going, they keep going, and then they get to somewhere in Langata. Carnival. This one also drops off. And the matatu keeps going. And as they drop off, somebody coming, somebody coming. Another person, a different person. Some people join in at um, Langata. Are you getting me? Beba, 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 beba. Now they keep going. They keep going, right? And they get somewhere, and another person also drops off. As well. Huh? Madaraka. So finally, they end up in town. And, and then at Madaraka, someone also joins in. Nyayo at night. And finally, they end up in town. Now, the conductor, the driver, and the conductor remains in the vehicle. This conductor is assigned to the driver. So it doesn't matter who gets off, he remains in the vehicle because he's what assigned. It doesn't matter who is in, who is out, who is saying what he is what assigned so he remains in the vehicle he saw others come in he saw others go out but he remains in because he is what assigned to him and by the time they get to town most of them dropped off but one person still remained in the vehicle this one began with them and still remain in the vehicle he's assigned as well because he began with them and is ending with them but these other ones that dropped off they were not assigned they were attached and in the journey of life there are people that will come in and drop off but there are people it doesn't matter how hard it gets they will still remain assigned to you because god has ordained them to be there in the midst of the pain they will be there when you are crying they will be there when you fail they will be there when things are good they will be there and i pray for you that god will give you revelation as you strive to rise and as you strive to achieve may you have revelation to understand the amen that are assigned and the amen that are attached and may god give you grace not to confuse the two but you channel energy to assign people and not just to attach people may the lord give you grace and may grace find you in the mighty name of jesus come on put your hands together and be upstanding let's be upstanding let's be upstanding just begin to talk to god right now tell the lord father give me grace to understand revelation in my assignment to know how to connect and how to relate come on lift up your voice Father, give me insight. Insight, O oh Lord. Insight, O oh Lord. Insight, O oh Lord. Help me to know how to connect. How to connect. How to connect. How to relate for my prosperity Shalala 
Apaliata, Apala Basoniata, Asone, Italiata, Hey, Apalosa, Asona Maduata, Rapa Pala Basoniata, Atalia, Asola Lalaba, Asoniata, Asotanaba, Atelia Azoriata, Rapa Pala Soria, Atonana Mata, Asoriata. Come on, talk to God, talk to God, talk to God, talk to God. Father, help me to identify my assigned people. Help me to identify my assigned people. Help me to identify my assigned people. Help me to identify. My assigned people help me to identify. My assigned people help me to identify. Shede be kabrata, rada da 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 basola la brata, rata da la 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 bosha, rapa pa la bakosha ta. Father, we pray that you grant us grace, O Lord, to be able to identify the right men and women we are supposed to identify with and connect with. We pray that touch our hearts, our minds, our spirits in the mighty name of Jesus that we will know how to relate in this season and in this time. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are prayed with thanksgiving. And everyone said amen and amen. Amen. Now stretch off your hands towards if there is, I told you come with someone. If there's somebody related to you by blood, hold them. If you are here on your own, it's okay. We want to make a prayer over you father in the name of jesus we speak and make a declaration over families gathered in here i prophesy and declare from today the 4th of august till 31st of december evil shall not come close to our house any satanic agenda and projection against our lives i decree and declare let it backfire in the name of jesus i release total preservation over every life gathered in here every family represented in here we declare evil shall not come close to you attack shall not come close to you you shall escape accident you will escape deadly diseases you will escape every attack of the enemy you are permanently preserved permanently protected permanently secured in the name of jesus we release grace and power into the oils that you are holding as the oil touch you may you be marked for preservation may you be marked for protection may you be marked for exploits the bible says though that do know their goal they shall be strong and they shall do exploits may the anointing activate grace for exploits grace for favor let the anointing that will touch you command a shift and a turn in your life you are marked for excellence in jesus name we declare that 